difficult. I'm trying to film myself. Um, and you as well, Karin. Um, I'm a bit tired. Oh, this is the really? this the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the last day of uh, Design Week, and I think I had like three hours of sleep last night. So yeah, yeah but we today met at so uh, maybe <laughs> we have that in common. <laughs> yeah, we met, and now we are at the airport lounge, and um, yeah, we're flying back. So I'm gonna stop filming me because I'm not that interesting. So I'm gonna film you. Let's, let's see how that works. Um, no, it's still just me. Um, oh no. <laughs> no, I I I don't have to film me. Okay, okay well. <laughs> so um, so hi, Corin. Who are you? Uh, my name is Corin Schelberg, and I'm the CEO and owner of uh, Trendgruppen PR. Um, what are you doing here? Uh, we have a few clients here uh, exhibiting at the fair. And we uh, managed the press meeting of Itala Isemiyake Home Collection at Corso Como. And also we had an architect event for uh, the luxury bathroom brand Dornbracht, which was very nice. And that was super nice. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> and of course, it's uh, about networking, uh, meeting people, get inspiration and see all the great designs in the world. Did you make any business? Did you get any new clients? Uh, actually, yes. Um, I think uh, former year, I've been here for, I think, 11 fairs now. Uh, usually we don't get new business. It's more about networking and uh, coming relation and coming events. Uh, but this year, yes, uh, we have. We I'm going home with a few new clients. That's great. Oh, good. Well done. Is, is, <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, is the design week in Milan still important? Yes. Uh, the answer is yes, <laughs> it is. It's the <laughs> most important, uh, absolutely. Yeah. The grip is really, really tough on my hand when I'm holding this. I'm just, yeah, Anna, pour me. Ooh. <laughs> uh, uh, but um, Karin, what? Uh, so you go here for for business, and you also go here for inspiration. Mm -hmm. What did you find that was inspiring to you? Uh, oh, so many. It's hard to choose. Uh, uh, I think uh, it's a Japanese uh, exhibition uh, curated by Teruhiro Yanagihara, uh, which was very, very nice and interesting. Uh that was uh, the um, ceramics, right? And yes. there was Arita. Mm -hmm. Arita, it's the name of it. And it's a collaboration of uh, maybe 10 different uh, fab uh, factories in Japan. Uh, who needed to update the, uh, their assortment, their collections. So they uh, hired uh, some top designer names uh, to develop new items for this kind of sleeping area, I which is called Arita. So it's compar why it's interesting is because it's comparable to, for example, the Kingdom of Crystal in Sweden. Glasriket. Uh, yes. Uh, well, we have a uh, kind of the same problem. Maybe it's a bit sleeping area with so much potential, and uh, maybe we could do the same. D uh, just imagine if we got some really great designer names to got invited to all the beautiful and great uh, glass factories we have in Sweden, mm. and if we took this to Milan next mm. year and made a great <laughs> exhibition. Oops. It is, it is difficult. <laughs> Wait, I need to change the <laughs> I think it's better now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's something uh, I would love to do uh, as a Swedish uh, mm. addition to the Milan Design Week. That would be really great. Speaking about um, Glasriket and the other things, um, what about the Scandinavian presence? Were you impressed by the Scandinavian presence? Uh, yes, but it's uh, you find these a lot of uh, really good Swedish designer and in both Swedish and international designer design houses but uh, I think uh, the Norwegians uh, <coughs> they gathered in a really great way to uh, push Norway mm. as an important design nation you mean the exhibition structure or yes, do you mean on the fair or? Uh, structure yes that was good good example mm. also inside wood in the Ventura Lambrate mm. but yeah. structure and inside wood mm. in the Ventura Lambrate where uh, kind of Norway had mm. a collaboration when uh, mm took the lead mm. in a way and what about last they year borrowed our editor in chief Hanna Nova who's mm. Swedish of mm. course to curate it that mm. was kind of funny that mm. they didn't uh, have a Norwegian curator but that's an openness I think so yes, I think it's fine yes, yeah of course of course what about uh, last year we talked about the Danes a lot what do you yeah. think about the Danes this year of 
course we hey at the pelota is kind of uh, impressive and uh, yeah they're good. Yeah. They're good. And Sweden the Finns? Sweden is, I think Sweden is best. <laughs> <laughs> and how was the Swedish presence then? Uh, Did you like the thing out the fair? It, yeah, it's it's kind of a steady. They are really good. So if you look at Blå Station, uh, Svedes, uh, they, I think they're doing well. Okay. I think they're doing well. Uh, but you of, of course you're getting a bit proud when you see, for example, Plant Design mm, yeah. uh, with this new brand, uh, Kibo. Mm exciting mm. they're really good y you see the timing on the screen right now when i'm filming we should only do three minutes oh at the most so I'm you'll sorry. talk too much oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna end this uh, interview by saying thanks corin and have a nice flight back to stockholm bye, bye.